Hey guys, we have the three drawer chest Hemnes from IKEA and in this video we want to explain to you how to put this drawer chest together. So we should have a total of three of these big boxes. So in case you don't have them all, then you should go back to the store and find the ones that you're missing. And we're starting out with the first box and in there we find these four pieces of wood and in the top ends of them we should see these R1, R2, L2 and L1 and you should line them up in exactly this order and so uh, we're going to take a look at the different profiles here you see some holes in there different type of holes and here in the second one this would be the L2 and the uh, R2 those have these little cutouts here on the sides and also here again multiple holes and then we have here uh, several bags full of screws and dowels and all kinds of things and we're going to start out only with the first bag so the bag with the number one printed on it and in there we find several of these screws here with a little piece of plastic in the middle and we're going to screw those into one of the sides here see that where we find these smaller holes that's where we uh, screw these uh, screws into so when you want to do that, uh, not too deep. So you want to see here just until this little edge here, until that reaches the wood. That's where you want to stop uh, screwing them in. And you're going to repeat this in a total of 12 times. And once we've done that, then we should still have a couple of uh, bigger holes here on the sides as well. And those we're going to fill with the wooden dowels. And we're going to use a total of eight of those dowels. Okay, so now next we find here this big piece of wood and you're going to line it up just so you have these two holes here on the bottom and then three bigger holes on the top. So you put them uh, right between the uh, farthest, uh, the second, first and second uh, pole here on the left and we can line this up with those uh, screws that we just screwed in and we can push these in here so we can connect the two and then you see that these screws actually poke out all the way through these uh, big holes here on this board and to uh, attach those we have here these round uh, thingies here so you can put these right into the hole and you have to align them correctly so that they uh, pass by those screws those screw heads and so we are going to push those in you see this little arrow here that's supposed to point towards the screw and then we use a screwdriver and we're just going to rotate this until they uh, tighten up. And we're going to repeat this for all of these uh, poles here. So we're going to do this also with the second board. And then we have here more dowels. And we're going to put these here into those two holes here on the bottom. And then they're going to find two more holes further towards the top. I'm going to repeat this here for both of the boards let's stick them in there they should really go in there by hand sometimes they get a little stuck and then you I'll need maybe a little, little hammer and we can hammer those in so now we have these uh, other boards here and those have also these uh, holes for the dowels but these boards are actually a little bit shorter so they're not as big and we can line those holes up with the dowels that we just put in and they should perfectly align so that we can just push these uh, down and then they should perfectly attach. We are going to repeat the same step here again one more time for the other board as well. And then this is how this looks like at this point. And then next we're going to start using these rails. So these are used for the drawers, for the drawer mechanism to pull, on, pull out the drawers. And you have to take a look at these, a really close look. We're just going to use these here, this, this type. So uh, once there's a there's an L here on the upper left corner, and then there's a different type, these here, those have an R. See, there's an R in the upper right corner. So those are the pieces that we're looking for right now. And then there's the other ones that we're going to put on the side. They look a little bit different. So now first we're going to start out with the ones with the L on it. And we are going to align those with these holes here. The one that I po uh, pointed out. And we're going to use these screws, the screw heads that 
have to be countersunk right into those rails. So you want to make sure that you get these uh, screws in really nice and straight so that you can get them really far into the wood and they don't really uh, protrude from those rails very much. And then we're going to repeat this on the right side as well. So and on the right side we're using the one with the R on it. And then we're also of course repeating this step here two more times on each side so that we have three rails installed on each side. So this is what that looks like at this point. Then we continue here with these uh, feet, it's like these bottom pieces, these plastic pieces. These, has, these have these little uh, plastic edge here on the side. Those are going to point inwards. You see just like this here. And then we're going to repeat the same step on the other side as well. Also here I'm going to uh, point these rubber, these plastic nipples here, these on the side that protrude here on this towards the inside. Next we're going to use 10 more of these wooden screws, or of these screws. And we're going to put these right into the holes that I'm pointing at here. Two on the bottom here, then one on the left, further up, and then two more even further up. So five of these screws on each side. So for each of these uh, boards that we have assembled so far. And then it's time to open up the second package of screws. And in there we find these uh, more wooden dowels and we're going to put these all in these uh, holes here. And now it's time to get more wooden pieces out of the second box now. And here in that box we find these three slats and one of them is uh, different from the other two. So two are the, exactly the same. They look like this and here this one has this little edge here. You can find this little edge on the side. So we have two of those and then the other one which has a couple of different holes and we start out with the one that's different from the other two. This looks like this here. And you want to align this exactly how I am holding it here. So we're installing this now on the right side, on the right board. And we're going to stick this in on the top just like this so that this black portion points towards us at this point and then we're going to uh, use the other two um, slats now and put them in just like this here see with where the uh, screw protrudes and you can see now the screw head inside of that hole and then repeat the same step here on the bottom Make sure also to have the uh, wooden piece here, the slat aligned just like I'm showing it here. And then of course here also we're going to put these uh, metal screw heads here in there and we're going to lock down the uh, screws. Okay, so next we have then here this big board. And we're going to put that right into the center here where we still have one screw left over and these uh, dowels. So we put this right in here and also lock it down. And then another board all the way on the bottom. I'm going to put that also on here. Okay, so Just once like that, that is done, then we're going to take it to lock it down. Look well. at the other board. And here we're going to find here more holes and we're going to put a wooden dowel here and the one on the left. Same here, uh, further up here, we're going to put a dowel on, on the one on the right. And then we're going to take this board, we're going to lift the board up and we're going to place it right on top of the, of the right part. So right on top of all those boards and the slats. We're going to line these up with all the screws that we have. And then at this point, our drawers should look like this. And now we have plenty of these uh, holes to fill that have those uh, screw heads pointing through. So you should find plenty of those that we have to tighten down now. And then we can already straighten up our drawers. So it looks like this at this point. Then we take the... Uh, top piece 
and we're going to add attach here more full screws and then we are going to line up those screws here with the uh, boards here so you see some of these uh, holes are for those screws and some are for wooden dowels you see the difference the ones for the wooden dowels don't have those big holes right underneath them we're going to repeat the step on both sides of course just like this and then we can line up the uh, screws and the dowels and we can fasten the uh, top board here it's a little bit tricky to get this down so take your time and it may take a couple of minutes to get this aligned right and of course don't forget also here to tighten down the screws okay so next we have here these type of screws and we're going to use this little tool that comes also inside of the bag and these screws go in right here into those holes just tighten them down until they are holding onto the board on the top and now we're going to tilt the uh, drawer actually on the side and then it's time to install attach the back panel so that back panel goes into this groove here on the top and then also we should have if we installed everything right we should have this groove here on the sides and then we're going to use this package of nails to attach the uh, back panel so of course we're going to use a hammer to do that once we've done that our drawer should look like this at this point now we still have the third package and in there we find the three drawers and now it's time to start using the bag number three and we find all these wooden pieces and we first want to uh, line up the uh, fronts of those drawers here we find two smaller drawers and then one bigger drawer so those have these uh, holes here on the side and then the slat and we're going to find also these screws here again that we have to screw in here that we uh, don't screw those in too deep just so that they touch the uh, wood and then in the center the center two holes are for the wooden dowel so let's stick those into all of the uh, fronts of those drawers so now this should eventually look like this here and then we're going to assemble first the biggest drawer so we're going to use the big pieces here the bigger size uh, side pieces and already put in those lockers here so i'm going to put those metal pieces in there you don't have to do that yourself i just did it to try out if it works and that you can see this better than what i'm doing here so i'm going to lift or put those wooden pieces here onto the sides and you see how i have these uh, the metal p parts facing the outside of the drawers so that's important and of course i'm going to lock those down and we're going to repeat this for the other two smaller drawers as well one of those side pieces actually has this sticker here so ikea wants you to put that onto one of those so that you can actually read it and then eventually when we repeat the same steps here for all drawers then this is how it looks like at this point and now we find here on each of the fronts of the drawers we find this little hole here in the bottom center and we're going to put one of these phillips screws in there and we're going to uh, screw them in a little bit we're not going to tighten them down all the way quite yet just so that the screw is just in there and then we can use the bottom parts the uh, bottom portions of the drawers we're going to line those up into those slats and then we take the back side of our drawers and we're going to put them right on top here and then at this point we need these uh, big plastic these white plastic dowels and they go in here right in here from the side those are usually really snug so you may want to use a hammer to get those hammered in so we're going to repeat the same step here also on the opposite side as well and once we hammered them in it should look just like this and at this point we slide out our bottom here the drawer bottom we slide them out just over halfway so that we have access to those screws again and now we take one of these metal bars that we have we're going to put this over that screw and then at this point we're going to 
tighten down the screws as best as we can. If you have a really long screwdriver, well, the longer the screwdriver, your Phillips screwdriver is, the easier it would be. So we're going to put this in there. We're going to tighten down that screw and then towards the opposite end, once we've slid in that uh, bottom again, then we find there's another hole, pre-drilled hole on the top here. And we're going to also tighten down this other screw here with the uh, with that metal bar and at this point it should look just like this and now we still have these uh, rails the leftover parts from the rails and we're going to use one pair of them on each drawer and you want to align those right so right at this point you see here these little cutouts those are facing the bottom and then you have these wheels those are supposed to uh, be at the end here of the uh, back end of the uh, drawers and then again we use these uh, Phillips screws and we're going to use two of these screws on each rail and make sure you get these in really nice and straight so that those screws end up being really flush and here as I said two of these screws for each rail and then of course we're going to uh, not only do it on the one side we're going to repeat the same step on the opposite side as well also here make sure that you have this plastic wheel facing the back end of the drawer and also here two Phillips screws make sure they go in nice and straight so that they are flush and then uh, the last step here for this drawer is uh, to use one of these or two of these longer screws you stick those through those holes in the front face and then we use the uh, knobs to or use the screws to tighten down the knobs you don't really need a screwdriver for this it's enough if you just hold the uh, screw from the back side with your finger and then screw on the uh, knob and repeat the same step of course in the second on the opposite side as well and now we just have to repeat this all these steps for the other two drawers as well so this is a little bit of work and i'm not going to repeat this here in the video because the steps are exactly the same and then it's time to put the drawers actually into uh, the rails so make sure they really align the rails align and everything is correct and if you uh, when you try to push the drawer here in then they should just disappear they shouldn't like uh, they should be really nice and flush and then of course put the other two drawers in there as well and then we're already done yeah so this was already it for the video hope you found the information helpful and if you have any more questions or comments then please leave a message below